Hey everyone, happy Saturday. I'm in South Sacramento at the community center here and I'm here because this organization called Square Root Academy is hosting this event, a STEM summit for kids in the area and all around Sacramento who may have an interest in STEM careers to come and do different activities that will um, allow them to learn more about what they're capable. So I have one of those students here with me. What is your name, sweetheart? My name is Anjali Sharma. I'm 11 years old and I'm in the fifth grade. She is the smartest girl I have ever met. She's 11 years old, but I've learned so much from her in the last 20 minutes. I was telling you earlier, right? I was like, I was just so impressed with her passion and her desire to want to make a difference. Um, Angelie, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a forensic medical examiner. Why is that? I want to be a forensic medical examiner because most men think that women can't do things that are expected of them. But I want to show young women they can do whatever they want and be whatever they want to when they grow up. You are certainly going to do that. What is it about STEM, um, the science, technology, engineering, and math that is so interesting to you? It's so interesting that there are so many endless possibilities of what you can do with it. And how is it that you decided that you wanted to pursue one of those careers? I decided that by watching crime shows with my mother. Um, she in the first few in the first season, it was only a man. What show was that? Spe Law and Order Special Victims Unit. So you're watching Law and Order with your mom. Yeah. And then. And the forensic medical examiner is mostly a man. And toward the end of the season, um, at the very last season, there is someone who is a woman, but she's in the last episodes. And when I saw that, I said, and I thought to myself, I I need to show young women that they can do whatever they want. That there needs to be more women what aren't expected of them. Even if even if a man isn't expected, they can do what they want to do. Absolutely. You are absolutely right. Representation matters and STEM careers, obviously, uh, minorities and women are underrepresented. So this organization focuses on catering to those kids and letting them know that they can pursue these careers and that they have the support and resources to get there so students like Anjali are enjoying a day of all these all kinds of activities that are making them even more interested in these careers and like she said the endless opportunities one of the things that she was sharing with me earlier is that we don't even know what careers what what's out there she believes that there's things that haven't even been explored right and you okay. want to what, what was it that you shared with me? I think you can say it better than me. There are, there are jobs that probably don't even exist today that even if people keep trying, they can create jobs that don't exist today. Absolutely. Where do you get your inspiration from? I get my inspiration from young women across the world who have made um, the, the world a better place. For example, Malala Yousafzai. Yes. Uh, she <laughs> stood up for young women's rights to go to school. And she, she had almost died because of that. But she had so many followers that helped her through it. She's a real influencer. Yeah, she is. Wow, and so are you. I told her that I felt honored to meet her because if she's not our next president, she's going to be someone, remember her name, Anjali Sharma. She's going to be well known throughout the world. I believe it. You're, you're a star. You're incredible. And I love your passion to want to inspire young women because you're a young woman yourself. And yet you already know what you want to do. That is unbelievable. Um, what Another thing, what do you want to tell kids that maybe aren't so interested in STEM? I want to tell them that even if you're not interested, just think about all the endless possibilities that can happen. You can explore with so much. You don't know what could even happen if you just tried it for once. You might fall in love with it. Like you did. Yes. So true. Very cool. I am beyond excited to have you guys get to know Angelie a little bit more in the story that I'm working on today for ABC 10 at 5 and 6. All the kids that are participating in this event are also incredible, but I just wanted to introduce you to Angelie because she is amazing as you just saw. So we're going to have more of her story and what this incredible organization does for kids in our area today at 5 and 6 on ABC 10. Bye. Say bye. bye. Thank you.